So hi Steven, it's Friday and it is hot. Um, it's in the 80s outside, but it is a lot hotter in my office, but I don't really have anywhere else to go, so here I am. Um, I feel like since we've gotten back from Baltimore, life is a little bit more manageable. Sarah is not feeling well, and we have a lot to do to get ready for Kenya, but it's survivable at this point, so that's good. Um, I haven't been doing a whole lot other than uh, work. I finished painting my toolbox. I showed you a clip of. I'll have to go out there and film it, uh, film the rest of it so you can see. Um, I got the 3D printer up and running again. I picked up a couple things um, to help make it easier. Acupuncture needles for cleaning out the nozzle and some new filament that I haven't tried yet but um, I showed you put in here a clip of um, something else I made for my board game and then I also just finished printing this this is a thermal detonator it's like a grenade from Star Wars Return of the Jedi and I've thought about making one for a long time and I could never figure out how to make this it's a really hard shape with really weird details and um, so I 3d printed it in three pieces and then I primed it and uh, apparently it needs to be dusted now um, so I primed it and glued it together and then painted it with silver leaf rub and buff which is great stuff it's like silver leaf um, suspended in carnauba wax um, so you can paint it and then like it's instantly dry and you just buff it with a towel and it gets this like you can see it's like reflective finish that you really it's hard to get any other way so I'm gonna do some shading and stuff on it but I'm really happy with it so far um, it's probably the the best thing that I've 3d printed that's turned out um, very happy with it very cool um, so uh, we had a great time in Baltimore. My sister's wedding was awesome. It was the most fun wedding I've ever been to, including mine. And um, it was really good. We had a good time down there. We brought back a ton of Legos. We brought back a ton of other stuff, some of which we needed and some of which we didn't. Um, yeah. So I still have to finish the workday, though. So I'm going to, I think I'll go out to the shed and get you a clip of the toolbox that I finished. And... Um, then upload this and uh, get back to work so I hope you're doing well um, I hope your car is continuing to run and have power steering and uh, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I will see you on Tuesday this is all the Legos and Mike's splitting them they're everywhere there's a lot of body parts in here <laughs> Best sentence ever. So we're down in Baltimore and we are dipping up our Legos from when we were kids. And there's kind of a lot of them. And this is like the high graded stuff that 12 year old Mike put in a box and we're gonna divvy it up. Good times. So here we have perhaps my most ambitious print project to date. This is six replacement terminal pieces for my Imperial Salt board game, printed all at one time. Um, I have to show you a video of how they're going to in hey, be incorporated into the game yeah, once they're, they're done, but can I'm I, super happy with how they turned out. So far. Can I do a part? So of here it? is the finished product. I think this was in my video two weeks ago, but it might have been last week's. So I don't know. Um, from the brink of the junk bin at uh, Restore, Habitat for Humanity Restore, 
into going to have tools in it and be functional for a long time. It's a little sparkly, but it's pretty sweet looking overall, I think. Black on the inside, black on the trim. And these piano edges get this great effect where they're half blue and half black. Because you, when you paint it closed, very happy with it. $3 plus paint. Pretty cool.